Every year there are 170 tornado days that account for over 800 confirmed tornadoes in the United States. On average, 20 of these tornadoes are labeled killers, claiming about 90 lives per year and accounting for thousands of injured. What can homeowners do to protect themselves? Now your first line of defense is at your home. It's traditional to put a storm shelter out in the yard, but who wants to run outside during a tornado? FEMA has come up with some plans where you can actually build a storm shelter inside your house. You can see underneath the staircase here where they've already put up a layer of steel, and now the guys are putting plywood up against it, according to plans that you can download off the internet. FEMA is the Federal Emergency Management Agency. It's the government body that's responsible for safety preparation for natural disasters. FEMA's website is full of advice on how to prepare for any kind of natural disaster. There is an entire section devoted to plans for storm shelters and safe rooms. Home builders can implement these designs in the construction of their new homes. Ray Higgins of Jim Sexton Homes is such a builder. So Ray, you've got your piece of steel on the exterior here and then a couple pieces of plywood and then one on the interior? Yes, that's correct. The, uh, the steel is 14 gauge, the plywood's uh, 3 quarter inch, two layers, and this will go on the exterior with a single layer of 3 quarter inch plywood on the interior of, the, of your structure. And that's according to the FEMA plans and what type of wind will that take? How much? That'll handle 250 miles an hour, so it's, it's a sturdy structure. So that could be a big tornado and it'll stand up? Yes. And I noticed over here that you did go ahead and bolt our bottom plates of the wall down to the foundation and then you put straps holding the bottom plate to the studs? That's correct. We've got half inch uh, J bolts and the, uh, the metal tie down straps to uh, tie the wall down to the, uh, the double plate. So not only should it not burst through the wall, but it shouldn't rip the room off the foundation that's correct. either. And then you put it underneath the staircase, that's going to add some strength as well, isn't it? Exactly. Well, we don't have an air can in here to uh, shoot studs at it at 100 miles an hour, but you want to take a few whacks at it? I can try. See how strong it is compared to a normal room? Yeah, that should be plenty strong. And you've still got another piece of plywood to put on the exterior, don't you? Right, so that'll give you an idea how strong the, uh, the structure is going to be. Now, I hear you're putting a different type of shelter in another part of the house? Sure, let's go to the garage. Okay, let's take a look. Well, right. Here's another shelter in the, uh, in the garage we're building. It's by uh, Tornado Shelters and Closures. I tell you, that is something else. This is a big boy. Look at this solid steel. Hey, Dave. How you doing? Good, good. Yeah. Tell me, what is this built out of besides steel? What's the this is a, it's made out of a three and a half inch tube steel, five sixteenths inch thick, with a half inch polycarbonate skin on it. State of the art material. And if you're in a tornado, this would be like watching it on TV. You can see it come right up to your room, huh? Yes, you could. Yeah. Uh, one of the things we've done, we use a Hilti anchoring system with this. Uh, We've got some heavy uh, safety factors built into that area in the anchoring. It's designed, or it's, it's certified to FEMA 320, but our design criteria, we've beefed it up a lot more than that. We can take some wow. really heavy wind loads on this structure. Sure, looks like it. What goes up on top? The same thing. This is a panel design. All the panels are typical. All the connections are typical except the door, yeah. and you would mount the same panel on the, on the roof of it. Is the glass bulletproof? Uh, this is not bullet resistant. We can make it bullet resistant with some thicker materials. So you could use this like a safe room, so whatever oh, breaks in your house, just lock yourself inside. Absolutely. And they could see you, but they couldn't get you. That's right. <laughs> uh, we have the dark panels also in case a homeowner didn't want to see things flying at them or coming at them. So they have the option of going dark or the clear. Uh, the nice thing about this panel design is you can go into, I can go into an existing home and measure up a closet, put it in the closet. You can make a home office out of it, change the colors. So uh, it doesn't have to be in the garage like no, this? No, it doesn't have to be in the garage. We, okay. Typically, we'd like to see them in the center of the home somewhere. That's usually the, the safest best place area. And because we really want the homeowner to be able to get into it within 20 or 30 seconds, uh, anywhere from in the house. Yeah, and bolted together like this, it should be plenty strong. Oh, it? it's uh, yeah. it, the wind loads it can take are a lot more than 250 miles an hour. Well, I guess the biggest question would be the glass. Have you guys tested that? Yeah, we were, uh, Texas Tech has done all of our testing. We got some footage of that. I'd be glad to show you. Uh, they did the FEMA 320 test, which is a 15 pound two by four at 100 miles an hour. So Dave, is that what the glass looks like after a tornado? Yeah, it's a 15 pound two by four uh, at 100 miles an hour. Well, it didn't crack the glass at all, did it? Just, no. Just made an impression? Sure did. We don't have the air can in here, but why don't you take our unofficial sledge test to it? And sure. See how it holds up. Wow, takes a big hit. Doesn't really do anything to it. It scooted it back a little bit. It's not bolted down and that's heavy. So, I mean, you're really hitting it. 
the total unit's about 4,500 pounds. Yeah, well, it looks like it can take a tornado. Now, if you're ever caught in a tornado, even if you're in a shelter, there are a few basic supplies that you're going to have to have. Let's take a look. You need to have some place to store a little bit of food, preferably dry food that won't spoil, especially things like peanuts. Make sure that you have an emergency scanner so you can listen to what's going on with the weather. A cell phone is always a good idea. A flashlight, plus enough extra batteries for everything. You definitely need some fresh water. Wouldn't be a bad idea to have a conventional radio in there as well. A first aid kit in case an emergency does occur. A blanket if you have to stay in there for a while and stay warm. And a bucket. And I won't really explain what that's for, but if you've ever been camping, you probably know what the bucket's for. And I guarantee you, if you're inside watching a tornado tear your house apart around you, you'll want that bucket. If you'd like more information on how to prepare for a tornado, contact us on the internet at michaelholligan.com. Mm -hmm.